What is going on guys, Deadroot here, and today I'm bringing you guys a quick tutorial on how to access your messages on a Windows and Mac PC, or Mac, but um, yeah, let's get right into it. So what you're first going to want to do is purchase the City of Tweak, it's called Remote Messages, iOS 7, iOS 7 there, and you're going to want to purchase it, download it, and then respring like normal. And what it's going to let you do is, it's going to let you, here's the folder for it, and you're going to enable it, it might be disabled first, I don't remember, you're going to want to enable it, and then keep in mind your current IP and your server port, and that's what you're going to type into your web browser when you go to access your messages. These are your login account details, I'll show you what that does in a second, um, that's pretty much just extra login for once you go to your IP and port. Um, admin and the password will be admin as well. At least I believe it is by default. And then so yeah, once you have once you've seen all that, remember remember your current IP and your server port and let's go over to the PC. Okay guys, once you're on the PC, you're going to want to open your web browser and then you're going to want to go to that IP address and port that was listed there. Oh, 168.1.3 and then colon 333, which was the port. You're gonna want to press enter. If you had the extra login enabled, it's gonna ask you for your username and password. The username and password for mine was admin and admin. Then you're gonna want to click login, and then it'll take you to your messages where you can read, send. You can do pretty much all the regular things you do in iMessage. So here, let me just send test to this group. And yeah, so you'll type in whatever you want, and it'll pretty much send it to whoever you're talking to. As you saw, there was a little loading, little animation right here. And oh, there it goes. Er, <laughs> Okay, <laughs> okay, so as you can see, it sent it and he sent one back and it received it. So, yeah, it works pretty good. I haven't found any glitches or anything yet. But, yeah, so if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you have any bugs or issues or problems, leave a comment down below. I'll see you next time. Peace.